we are going to find the absolute max and also the absolute min for this function on this interval. So let's go ahead and get to work. We need the critical numbers first. So let's go ahead and get the derivative. The derivative of x is 1. The derivative of 1 over x. Write this as x to the negative 1 power. Bring the negative 1 to the front. And the minus 1, which is x to the negative 2. And let's write it as 1 over x squared. And before we set this equal to 0, let's just combine the fractions. So let's multiply the bottom and the top by x squared. So they have the same denominator. And then we will just get x squared minus 1 on the top over x squared. And now we set this to be 0. And here we have a fraction. In order for a fraction to be 0, we just need the top to be 0. So we look at x squared minus 1 to be 0, factor it, x minus 1 times x plus 1, that will be 0. And from here, we have two critical numbers. The first one is at 1, and the other one is at negative 1. But do we need both? No. We don't need this one, because we just care about the interval. 0.2 comma 4. So this right here, no. So I'll just tell you guys, not on the interval of 0.2 comma 4. All right. And you might be also be wondering, here we have this. Do we need to set the bottom to be 0 to find out where the derivative is undefined? No, because when x is 0, yes, that will make the derivative undefined. But the 0 is not even in the domain of the original function. No. And another reason is, of course, 0 is not on this interval, so don't worry about it. But anyway, the only critical number we have to worry is 1. And then we also check the value of the function at the end points. Let's get to work. f of 1, this is 1 plus 1 over 1. Hmm. Let me look at it. No, just kidding. We don't need a calculator for this. This is just 1 plus 1, which is 3. Just kidding. 2. Okay, now we are going to check the value of the function at these two endpoints. So f of 0 0.2, this is 0 0.2 plus 1 over 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is the same as 1 over 5, so we do 1 over 1 over 5. This is just a 5. 5 plus that is 5.2. We can just do whichever way that you want, okay? Anyway, f of 4. This right here is 4 plus 1 over 4. And because I used the decimal right here already, I might as well also use the decimal right here too. This is 0 0.25 plus that, so we get 4.25. All right, now we are going to find the absolute max. Let me see. So among all this, the biggest is 5.2. So we have f of 0 0.2 gives us 5.2. And then among all this, the smallest one is 2. So that will be the absolute minimum. And uh, that's f of 1. And that gives us 2. And with all that, we are done. Yep, that's it. For more examples like this, check out my playlist.